Hi, it's the Lipstick Elle. Thank you so much for watching today. I had this thought while I was in the car yesterday. Um, I tend to love large handbags and so things just kind of get randomly thrown in there <laughs> and they don't leave. And I thought, oh, I wonder what's in there because it's been a while. I don't always reach to the bottom of the bag. And I thought, should I record that? Should we do a what's in my handbag? And we'll find out together for ill or for good. <laughs> All right, so that's what we're doing today. Hopefully not going to be embarrassed, but let me show you. Here's my purse. I love this bag uh, because it's it's a, a beautiful iridescent situation here, but it, it makes me happy and I like that it has handles and a strap and you can adjust the strap to be different than it is here, but I usually just go with it like this. This by the way is from Brahmin. I love, love, love. All right, but you see how big it is? It's like huge. So I'm just gonna leave it here in my lap. We're gonna unzip it. I'll just start pulling stuff out. This is what I'm talking about. It all kind of gets shoved in there. And then later I'm surprised by what I find. First thing in here are my keys. So, uh, you know, car keys, house keys, and this little guy, which I love so much. It's actually a little mini Michael Kors bag. It's got the lining on the inside. The zipper works. It's bright green. And I usually leave this where the keys are on the inside and the little mini bag is on the outside so I know where my keys are. Or I will, you know, I'm not wanting to do it, where it just hangs like this. <laughs> my keys are heavy. Or I'll leave it where the purse is hanging out and the keys are in my pocket. That's kind of like my visual, like if I'm digging through the bottom of my purse, this bright green always helps me find what I'm looking for. All right, ooh, sunglasses. I love these. I've had these for years, for years, for years. Oh. Yes, so these are from Dolce & Gabbana. They were like, what, $575 originally? And I got them for $75 on Hope Look. And then I took them to my ophthalmologist and I said, would you RX these for me? So these are my prescription sunglasses and I just keep getting the prescription updated because the lenses just make me so happy. All right, next thing, ooh, phone, yeah. Let me put that in my back pocket. I don't wanna lose track of that. This is weird. I'm just gonna tell you this is weird. I grew up with a grandmother who forever had a handkerchief and I loved my grandmother's handkerchiefs. And, and sadly, none of these are my grandmother's, but I went to a, just like a little vintage store, antique store, and I started picking out ones that I liked. And I find that if I just drop them in my handbag, guess what? They'll be dirty by the time I need a clean one. So I keep them in here um, and, and I have a, a bunch of them, you know, and, and they're all folded up together for when I need a clean hanky and I keep them in a Ziploc bag. Because if they were just rolling around at the bottom of my bag, they would never be clean when I needed one and I couldn't wet my eyes or my nose or what have you. But my little stash of clean hankies reminds me of my grandmother who I love and miss with my whole heart. She was just the best, very much a Southern lady. She was from Texas and you know, wore gloves and a hat and had a handkerchief and you know, always wore a dress. That was my grandma, she was the best. So these remind me of my abuelita and I always have one in my purse. All right, next thing in here, ooh, a receipt. So I went to Macy's the other day and this is my return receipt and I exchanged the Shiseido foundation. Okay, so this needs to go in a separate place. It can't just live in my purse, but I got the Shiseido Synchro Skin uh, Radiant Lifting Foundation in the wrong shade. And I didn't know because I ordered it online and their foundation matcher said, this is the shade you need. So I finally went back and my Macy's, there used to be a Macy's here in town and it closed and my next closest Macy's is an hour away. So I had to wait until I was really needing to go to like the next big town over. And I did finally exchange that. It should be coming soon. They didn't have my shade in store. It's being shipped. The world changed two years ago. I started carrying things in my purse that I never thought I was gonna carry. One of them, is hand sanitizer and I, I just get a regular three ounce travel size that I can refill I never used to use hand sanitizer I was like just wash your hands and yes just wash your hands but sometimes you can't wash your hands and you want to know that there's nothing on your hands so now there's a hand sanitizer that's in my purse and along with that comes the fact that the hand sanitizer dries my hands out so now I have lotion and I found that it's less expensive to refill something like this with whatever lotion I have and this happens to be the tree hut what is it tropic glow it smells like the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. I love the way it smells. I love how moisturizing it is. I'm gonna put just a little bit on right now because I need a little bit. And this stuff, because it's kind of like a body cream, you don't need a lot for my hand. I don't need a lot for my hands. And it's just enough and it keeps me from being too dry, especially in the winter time. So I have a lot of these travel size things. Oh, look, 
I do also have a legitimate moisturizing hand cream in here. This is from Aveda. This is their hand relief. I don't like this as much as this stuff because this is, I think it has a little bit of a peppermint scent to it and it has the peppermint oil when if my skin is dry and cracked. My mom gave me this um, and I keep it in my purse. I'm trying to finish it, but it's probably not something I would repurchase. If you love this, great. It's just not for me. Ooh. So I have this little Lisa Eldridge bag in here and I have like tampons and pads in here. And, and my problem is normally I would just stick them in the back, but then, you know, they start to rummage around on the bottom because you don't need one every day. You need them when you need them. And I find that if I don't put them in a bag that they're going to start to like the plastic's going to start to wear down and then it, you know, will no longer be hygienic and I can't use it and I've wasted product. So I keep them in a little bag like this and that can move from bag to bag. All right. Ooh, another pair of glasses. These are from Rachel Roy. These are my regular glasses that I never wear. They're kind of cute. I like that they're, you know, um, kind of clear, but they have a little bit of silver on them. I, I like them. I think they're fun, but I, I just have not gotten into the habit of wearing glasses. I need to because every morning I wake up, I'm like, wait, wait, where do I have to hold this? <laughs> And uh, I have another pair of uh, glasses that have both progressives and distance in them. And these ones, I'm like, I can never get used to the progressives. Do not put that in there for me. So these ones are just like for distance. So if I'm driving at night, I wear these, but I don't wear these a lot. I, I should wear them more. It'd probably be better for my eyes. All right. Oh, here's my wallet. My massive, massive, massive wallet. Um, I like and hate this wallet. I like that it has this and I can, you know, attach my keys right here if I need to and put my phone in here and this can be my purse, but I carry too many things. I don't really have room for that. All right, it has room for all of this. I've been keeping mine and my kids vaccine cards in here. There's some cash back here. And then um, I find that this little area here that has, I just store all my receipts in there in case I need to make a return. This is also the pocket where your phone is supposed to go. But since I carry it as a wallet, I like to have my phone in a different place. And then I have two zippered pouches. And this one here gets the least amount of use because when the wallet is snapped closed, I can't get into this zipper. So if I need something instantly, I put it on the other side. But I do like that it has two zippered sections. And I have like my insurance card in here. I think there's even, there's even some extra strength Tylenol in here. <laughs> and then the other side is where I keep my change. I don't know that I have much change right now. What do I, I do? Oh, look, I do have change. I've had this for a long time. This wallet I feel is like a really nice wallet. Um, and red is my favorite color. And I, I do like this, but I feel like I'm almost ready for a new wallet. It's starting to show its wear and look a little old and beat up. All right. Oh, checkbook. Do you... The weird thing is I don't really use checks for anything and I use this for writing a check to um, my daughter's piano teacher and when I go to the lady who makes alterations on her clothes, those are the two people who get checks, but I still keep it handy and I don't know why. I feel like I shouldn't really need to, but then I wouldn't have it when I needed it. Oh, look, I have a little tiny moleskin in here. It's a, a little tiny notebook that I'm using for note keeping. I have a couple of pens. Ooh, and need, thankfully neither one of them are like depressed because then I'd be scribbling all over the inside of my purse. Okay, now it's getting interesting. First of all, I love these little stasher bags. They're little zip top um, reusable silicone bags in lieu of plastic and I love this. These are great, but I have a little piece of tape on here with the name of the medication that's in here. This is hydrocortisone, five milligrams. I take um, a steroid every single day because I'm adrenal insufficient. My adrenals quit working years ago and my body needs just a little bit to help it keep going so I take 20 in the morning and then 5 at 12 30 in the afternoon so this is there in case I'm not at home I still have this with me boy it is getting kind of random remember I told you I went to see some friends who were sick I still have one of those little Purell hand wipes from the plane what else is down here oh my mom gave me this so my mom has this little measuring tape in her purse and I was like, oh, that is so handy because we were trying to measure stuff um, at the fabric store when she was visiting in October. I was looking for a piece of furniture and I needed to know how, how wide and how long and she just pulled this out. And then she realized how much I liked it. So she sent me one. <laughs> so every time I see this, I think of my mom, but it's a little tape measure. It's kind of random, 
but it's very helpful when you need it. And I have been using it a lot when I have been crocheting and I need to, instead of pulling out my giant, you know, three foot tape measure, I just pull out that little guy and that helps a lot. This is a little felt bag from Baby Gold. I am wearing these little tiny Baby Gold hoops. I did put my own charms on them, but I got these earrings as a birthday gift in January and they came in this little pouch. But I was like, I can use that pouch for something else. I can close my earrings up here. So what I put in here, because I lost the felt bag that this came in a long time ago, it's my mirror. And this is one that I got a, a long time ago at Sephora. And it's like a clock. And it's the Cinderella mirror. I don't know if you remember that. There's like a little Cinderella castle like right in the middle. And the crystal top here looks kind of like a really fun. Anyway, the mirror on the inside is a little... It's dirty, I need to clean it, but it has a times five mirror and a regular mirror. And this is what I use when I'm, oh, should have taken a look ahead of time. When I'm putting on my lipstick or adjusting my eye makeup or whatever, I like to have a mirror in my purse and I don't want it to get all scratched up and messed up. So it's nice to have a little velvet pouch to put it in. So I'm repurposing that for that. Oh, we're getting close to the bottom. Your girl's lactose intolerant. So I always take lactase enzymes with me. There's a lot of random things in here. So my husband knows that I'm trying to be better about using single use items. He got me this reusable metal straw that I can use like if I'm you know, getting a soda or if I'm going to get a coffee or something, I don't need to use their straw. And it also comes in this case with this little extendable brush so that you can clean it. I have used this so much and it's handy, but I'll just tell you, there are days that I'm just like, I don't need a straw at all <laughs> and I'm a monster and I just drink straight from the cup. I love this. This is something else my mom gave me. We can't all be queens. Someone needs to bow down as I go by. It's basically just a little nail care set and I keep it in there for clipping cuticles for when my nails get a little ragged or I need to trim something really quick. This I always have this in there. It's been super helpful. I feel like an old lady. All the things I have, I have my, my medication, I have like everything, my hankies, and then this here is a little screwdriver and screws to fix. It's like an eye care kit, like if your glasses break. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like I'm finding things that I would find in my grandmother's purse. All right, so normally I keep the infallible 24 hour fresh wear um, powder foundation in my purse, but I have it in my monthly makeup bin, so I had to put something else in my purse, and I swapped it out for this. This is the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten. This is the lightest shade in porcelain, and I do love this because we have hit pan, and I'm gonna continue using it, but this is my touch up powder for the month of March. Oh, we're getting down to lip products. Let me see if I can grab them all. Oh, I should, I should, I should be better about this. <laughs> and these are all lip products. And I don't know about you, but I'm the sort like, this is the lipstick I'm wearing today and I drop it in my purse. And then the next day, this is the lipstick I'm wearing today and I drop it in my purse. And it takes something like this for me to actually empty it all out. So here's what I have. Oh, <laughs> dropping things. All right, I have two YSL Rouge Volupte Shine, uh, the one in Rouge Lulu, which is the one I'm wearing today, I love a glossy lip, and the one in Rouge Tuxedo, which is the red, which I absolutely adore. Um, I have the M Cosmetics Lip Cushion in, um, uh, which, this is Mona Lisa. It's the lighter of the two new ones that came with the Masterpiece Collection. I literally, that has been living in my purse ever since. I love it. I also really love this formula from Beauty Pie. This is their Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil. This was a limited edition shade from last summer they're not making right now. This is called Sun Haze, but it's literally my favorite lip gloss. I love the Glossier Balm.com. Um, I opened this tube at the beginning of February and today is March 4. Addicted, addicted, addicted. Okay, oh, someone told me they don't make this anymore and it makes me so sad, but my Dr. Pepper Lip Smackers, I've had one of those since I was, what, six? Five, six, I love this. I just have always repurchased it and now knowing that I can't get it makes me kind of sad. All right, I'm trying to finish up, and this is maybe already done, the Melting Lip Click from Sephora in the shade Caramel. Um, there are no more clicks left. She clicks no more, but there's still a little bit of product there that I could use out of here, but I like this because it's kind of a pinky nude. I liked that a lot. It's very similar to the lip tint from M, but the one from M is a little bit more brown. I do have a nude lipstick from NARS in here. This is the shade Toled. It looks like this. We're just down to balms. Um, I love this Hello Sailor. It's a sheer balm. It looks blue, but it's not really blue. It's like a it's right here. It's basically like a lip balm for your lips, but it makes my teeth look whiter because it is slightly blue and purpley. 
Um, but I, the, the longer you wear it, the more it turns out to be slightly berry tone. You can really build it up, but I love this. It feels like a nourishing vitamin E stick for my lips. And it's kind of like my grown up glossy lip balm. Um, one that is, uh, remember I told you my mom gave me that um, hand cream from Aveda. It also came with a lip saver. This is okay, it's not my favorite. Um, also smells very much like Aveda products, very botanical. Um, I wouldn't recommend this. And this one has been interesting. This is the So Pouty Lip Gloss Balm from Wet n Wild. Uh, as you can see, I have color on the end because I have been mixing this with whatever lipstick I'm wearing. I need a little bit of hydration, I just throw this on. But this is interesting because I feel like it's waxy and it's thick, but it also moves around, you know, in here. Um, I feel like it's forever moving back and forth. That worries me. But I love the way that this feels. Um, it's not terribly expensive. Um, and it is a little bit shiny. I don't know that you'll see it very shiny here. But I, I think it's more balm and less gloss because it says that it's a lip gloss balm no 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 no. it's just like a lip balm it is a slightly shiny but it's not glossy glossy this is beautiful like if my i feel like my lipstick is getting dry and i want to kind of revive it a little bit without putting on more i'll put on a layer of this on days when i am wearing nothing and this is what i put on my lips stay so hydrated this actually lasts a long time and i was sure because it was kind of thick and almost waxy feeling it would feel uncomfortable on the lips Actually, it feels pretty nice. This is the sort of thing that I could see myself repurchasing. It's not expensive, but it keeps my lips nourished and hydrated, and it stays on my lips longer than I would expect something like this to because it is a little bit thicker. It does have a little bit of tack to it. But uh, yeah, there you go. Those are all of the lip products. There's a, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten. There were 12 lip products in here. <laughs> okay, yeah, I love lip products. Um, I'm gonna have to edit out some of this stuff. I don't need everything that's in my purse, but I think it's funny. I'm surprised. I am literally surprised there's not a granola bar or uh, a pack of like cookies or something in there. I'm forever looking for a snack, <laughs> but I, I guess that's a good thing. And, and now we're at the point where she's empty. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what interesting things you keep in your handbag, things that you love or things that you must always have, or do you habitually drop a new lipstick in and then you realize you've got like 15 of them rolling around the bottom of the purse. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much. Have a great day and I will see you again soon. Bye.